Hello, my twinkling stars. I hope you are fine and obeying your parents. Today, I'm going to teach you a poem, A Frog in a Well. Please watch my explanation, learn the poem and do all the exercise given below. Be good, listen to your parents and do all your work on time. Thank you. A Frog in a Well by Alice Shirtle The world is round and deep and cool. The bottom of the world's a pool with just enough room for a frog alone. The walls of the world are of stone on stone. At the top of the world, when I look up high, I can see a star in a little round sky. Dear students, this poem is about a frog in a well. Okay? A frog that lives in the bottom of a well thinks that the world is round and deep and cool. So the frog is thinking that the world is round and deep and cool. It is a small world with space only for himself. The wall of his world is circular and built of stone. And when he looks up, he sees the sky as a round patch with a star in it. Okay? So, a frog thinks that the world is round and deep and cool and the world is as big as the well. And when he looks up high, he see a patch. The patch is a star. Okay? So this poem tells us that each of us see the world from our own point of view. And each of us may think there is no place for anyone else who may think differently from us. So, the frog is thinking different. Okay. The frog looks silly and wrong in his description of the world. We too may seem just as wrong to someone else who may see the world differently from the way we do. It helps to see everything from another person's point of view as well as our own. So the frog is thinking that the world is small. Okay? So what the frog could see he is talking about? The well. Okay? So every one of us have a different view. Okay children? So, because the frog is living in the well, so he is thinking that the world is very small and it is deep and cool. Okay?